Hello third grade, this is a um, video added a little bit later to help you out with your patterns practice. Now for this one, I just want you to focus on what you already know. There's some things in here that I want you to think about, but focus on the things that you already know. So for number five, it says, look at the shaded products. What patterns do you see? Remember that products are the answers to multiplication problems. Everything in the white here is a product, it is an answer. Factors are those two numbers that you multiply. So for example, if you have three times four equals 12, three and four are factors and 12 is the product. So as you can see on the side, all of the green, there are green products that are highlighted. Now I just want you to look for a pattern, look for the pattern. So I'll show you what I see and then I want you to use the voice tool to tell me what you think the pattern is. So I see that it starts with zero up here, or sorry, down here. And then on the opposite side, it is also zero. If I look at the factors, the two numbers I multiply, I multiply zero and I multiply nine to get zero. Now let's look at that top one. I multiply zero and I multiply nine. Are you starting to see a pattern? Let's look at the next one. So this one I multiply eight and one. And if I go to the top, I also multiply eight times one. So what do you see that is similar from both sides of the chart? I just want to know what your best guess is. We're going to be looking at patterns more in our smaller groups. The next one is to write an equation for each shaded product. So let's look back at our chart. Remember, these on the side are our factors, the numbers we multiply. Those are both factors, everything in the dark blue, and everything in the middle are the products. So if I am looking at the shaded number 18, I can draw a line to find the two products. What two numbers multiply to get 18? Six times three. Six times three equals 18. We'll do one more together. So let's look at 20. To get 20, I multiply five times four. Five times four equals 20. So you need to write the equations for each shaded product and you can use the same strategy, drawing a line up to the factors. Look at the factors you wrote. Explain why the pattern for the product is true. I'll give you a quick example of a pattern you might see. So what do you see that is similar between these two with the factors? You have the same product, but what's different about the factors? Use the voice tool and you can record what you think. Number eight, shade a line in the multiplication table to show how this pattern is true for other products. So I see that the pattern here is going at a diagonal and I wonder if that happens for others. <clears throat> or if they are inverse, that means that you could flip them. So let's look at a simple one. So I use my highlighting tool, I can look at this diagonal and we'll see if it repeats the same way, that if the corners are the same and then it follows the same pattern as we go in. 
So it looks like three times zero is zero and zero times three is zero. So it is following the same trend. What about two times one is two and one times two is two? So do they follow the same pattern? Is it true? You can write yes or no. And that's all we're doing for this page.